dear friends welcome to this edition of the video series vbs neuro med this is a, a series of neuroanatomy lectures entitled corona radiata i have called it corona radiata because this are being released at the time of the currently running pandemic coronavirus i have also called it in the same context lockdown lectures or study at home videos now these are pre dissection videos very ideal uh, to go through a little before the dissection is actually started so it gives you a clear idea of what structures to identify what what is the orientation of these structures what is the relation of these structures so it is it is in that context it's a virtual uh, it's virtually a, a video atlas the topic specific to this particular video neuroanatomy number 11 is lateral ventricle inferior horn let's have a look at the mcqs uh, before we start the actual discussion now you see this is the first mcq uh, this is a horizontal section uh, roughly at the level of the interventricular foramen plus on one side a little more of the dissection has been done into the temporal lobe so that at least a, a part of the inferior horn is visible now there is a uh, arrow mark pointing to a particular structure identify it there are four options given choose the best uh, answer mcq number 2 this is a uh, a semi diagrammatic uh, representation showing the uh, details of the floor of the inferior horn of the lateral ventricle again there is an arrow mark pointing to a particular structure there are four choices look carefully identify the correct answer answers will be discussed after the discussion at the very end of this video next a slightly enlarged view of the central region where the um, details of the floor are brought out uh, in a higher emphasis once again uh, there is an arrow mark there pointing to a particular structure see it's see its relations to the neighboring structures and then try to identify that uh, pointed structure at the tip of the arrow next this is a coronal section i repeat this is a coronal section roughly at the level of the splenium of the corpus callosum some item has been pointed out with an arrow in that corner what is that there are four choices think over i repeat this is a coronal section a little to the posterior uh, part of the uh, lateral ventricle think over and give me an answer yet another this is the last mcq the pointer has been moved to another structure the the section is the same as previous identify the pointed structure let's now discuss the uh, dissection of the inferior horn in greater detail now here is the horizontal section of the cerebrum the both the lateral ventricles and the third ventricle is seen however the arrow points to a junction of the posterior horn and the inferior horn that means that this level of the section the inferior horn is not at seen we will see that in the next dissection where one half of the cerebrum has been dissected out into the temporal lobe 
so that the full view of the inferior horn is visible. Note the tail of the caudate nucleus and the fimbria in this particular uh, dissection. I have given in the side a small diagram because the shape of the caudate nucleus, the various parts of the caudate nucleus has a bearing on the design of the inferior horn. We will examine that diagram a little more in detail and come back to this slide. Now that diagram clearly demarcates, let's forget the putamen for the moment, the head at the anterior end, the whole caudate nucleus is C-shaped, head at the anterior end, followed by the body, followed by the tail, and finally the rest of the uh, caudate nucleus runs forward in the uh, temporal lobe and in the inferior horn. Back to the slide. Next. Here is a little better dissection and also there is a semi-diagrammatic representation overlaid. The inferior on floor is neatly shown. The most prominent item that is visible here is the hippocampus. I have marked it and also put a small diagram on the other side. It appears like a seahorse. The anterior end is the head. The tip of the arrow right at this stage is the body and its continuation lower down is the tail of the hippocampus. Now, the fimbria is also seen emerging out uh, uh, from the uh, caudal end. Now, basically, the, the surface of the hippocampus is covered by a thin layer of gray matter. The fibers from there move out and uh, join the fimbria. Next, the same hippocampus in, in greater detail where the central part of this uh, photograph has been enlarged. You can see the hippocampus in greater detail. Really resembles the shape of a seahorse. Then the continuation fimbria. On the other side, I have mentioned dentate gyrus. You can see the sawtoothed appearance uh, along the medial border of the hippocampus. Details we will discuss in the limbic system video, but just note its uh, uh, presence here. Next. The fimbria traced forwards gives a better view here. And there is a small amount of uh, uh, gyrus, more medial to it. That's the parahippocampus. Remember, this parahippocampus is not a part of this inferior arm. It's just a, a, a relevant uh, point noted in the photograph. It, it doesn't form any component of the inferior horn. Next, this is an important uh, slide coronal section roughly a little behind the splenium of the corpus callosum you can see in this the two fimbria from either sides the splenium not not section so the posterior end of the corpus callosum is visible and infrolaterally the inferior horn the triangular shape of the inferior horn is seen but actually it has a upper uh, wall roof and a lower uh, wall or the floor. Next, the same thing slightly enlarged. You can see the choroid plexus hanging in the in, uh, inferior horn. You can also see the hippocampus in this view. It reinforces the point that the hippocampus is located in the floor of the inferior horn. Right above it, you can see the fimbria also. What is seen in the roof, however, is none of these. The tail of the caudate nucleus and the adjacent stria terminalis is seen. 
Once again, parahippocampal gyrus is shown, but it doesn't form any component of the uh, inferior horn. But on the other side, the tapetum or the roof made up of white fibers uh, has to be noted. In other words, in the roof, tapetum, tail of the caudate nucleus, stria terminalis. In the floor, hippocampus. And now if we can add one more of structure, the collateral eminence. Just like we saw the calcarine sulcus in, the, in a previous uh, discussion on the posterior horn here, there is a similar deep uh, sulcus, the um, collateral sulcus. It, it forms an eminence on the floor in the inferior horn. That's the collateral eminence. Therefore, mainly the hippocampus and the collateral eminence are the two components of the floor. Usually inferior on we say roof and floor, although the section looks triangular. Now let's revisit the MCQs in the light of what we have understood just now in the discussion. MCQ number one, that was the fimbria. Now we see fimbria, none of the other items. Next very very prominently seen is the seahorse like appearance called the hippocampus d is the correct answer mcq number two mcq number three further enlargement of the previous slide you can see the once again the fimbria in better view b is the correct answer mcq number four coronal section roughly behind the Splenium of the corpus callosum. The structure that is hanging there has been pointed out. That's the choroid plexus. Next, MCQ number five. I have deliberately put back the hippocampus because in the floor, that is the most important structure you have to identify. In other words, the fimbria and the hippocampus is repeated in this MCQ, but it is worth it because they are the key structures uh, to be noted in the inferior horn. Uh, discussion. Now I am sure you have uh, been able to grasp some important details about the inferior horn. I'm, if you have any feedbacks, please write to me on this email ID. You can also post your feedback on the blog area immediately below the uh, YouTube video. That was an overview of the inferior horn of the lateral ventricle. Thank you for your patient uh, uh, listening. I am sure you would have benefited from this. My suggestion is please view it repeatedly during the dissection, before the dissection and as a revision subsequent to the dissection also. That way it will help you reinforce and uh, remember these uh, points. This video will help you in spotter identification and in the initial stages of the YVOC exams. Thank you. All the best.